time for uh, various reasons you want to add somebody to your course. This could be for, you sometimes can even add yourself. And you may add yourself to be able to look at your own resources and see if it's working exactly as you want it to work. You can switch, for example, to student view by clicking here at this panel. But that doesn't work always like we want it to. It's not exactly a student's view. It's similar, but it's not exactly a student's view. So sometimes it is helpful to log in as a student um, through an account that you add yourself to Moodle. Other reasons you may want to add somebody to Moodle is so that a TA can help you with a course, uh, so that another instructor can see your course. You can also, uh, by the only way you can transfer import and export from a different course is if you have access as a designer or an instructor within both courses. So that would allow you to use the import. So you can import materials from your own courses, but you want to import materials from a colleague, you need to have access to their course. So one way to give access um, to somebody to your course for various reasons and in this case you can see here Peter added himself twice and I'm right here this is the account I'm using right now I'm gonna add myself as a student though uh, so I can click enroll user and then these are the people that I could enroll there are 15 um, 156,000 people that I could add but out of those I really just want to add myself so I'll type my name at the bottom, my last name. A few people have my last name, so it found me. And then here I can decide how I want to add that person. If I want to add them as a visitor, a participant, a designer, which is what I usually add myself as, so I can edit and modify the, the, the elements of the course. Or as a student, which maybe is the most limiting, um, one of the most limiting, participant and visitor are also limiting, but it allows the person to, to see how the course is um, organized. And then you can also add somebody as an instructor or a TA. As a, it could be a non editing instructor if it's somebody that you just want them to, to participate in the course, but they're not really editing the design of it either. So there, there are various ways to, to add somebody. Uh, but once you, all you have to do is click Enroll, and that person is enrolled. So now if I scroll down, I should see, well, it just refreshed, and now I just see myself right there. And it says manually enrolled Friday, June 21st, 2013. So that's all you have to do. Uh, now that person has access to the course. I hope this video is helpful. Uh, thanks.